Alright, I know what you're all gonna say. You're gonna say technically this isn't a 90s nostalgia thing because the episode first aired in 1990. I was one in 1990. We definitely grew up with Pingu and seeing the reruns on TV because new episodes were coming out. And some bright spark had the idea to put this fucking episode on a VHS tape. Because back in the early 90s, there were things called VHS tapes and you could record shows off the TV. So you could watch them at any point that you wanted. So, about five years later, or six years later, we were kids watching Pingu. Pingu normally, yes, it was an absurdist show, but it never really went overboard until this one episode, which we had on a VHS tape, terrified the living shit out of me. It's hard to explain without actually playing the episode why this terrifies the shit out of you. You have to understand that the universe of Pingu is usually innocent, it's slapsticky, it's cartoony, but as soon as this episode starts, you get this really eerie feeling. Like the house starts moving, there's like synthetic synth wave music in the background, and the house flies around, which is terrifying in and of itself. But then this fucking thing appears, and it has the creepiest laugh, and honestly just looks like a pedophile. It looks and acts like a pedophile, and then it traps and tortures Pingu in the house, and just basically torments the living shit out of him, which is terrifying when you're a child. Also, the walrus doesn't look anything like anything else in the show. Everything else in Pingu looks cartoony, even though it's clay nation. But this thing just looks horrifically terrifying. It has human teeth and, like I say, a big pedo stash. And uh, it terrifies Pingu. Like, who thought this was okay for kids? Like, this is literal babies that were watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying, dude. It's terrifying, dude. And then the fucking walrus eats the bed as it laughs like a fucking weirdo, dude. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say, oh, I wasn't affected by this as a child. I'm gonna say I was very affected by this as a child because when you're a child, your imagination projects into things and makes it 10,000 times worse. And this episode did get banned in a few areas, but we still had it on a videotape. Pingu did have its scary, weird moments, and some episodes have been banned for reasons like parents spanking kids, which was very normal back when I was a child. Like, very normal. I used to get spanked every day and thrown in the cupboard as a punishment. Like, no wonder I've turned out to have social anxiety. No wonder so many people have turned out to be into BDSM. <laughs> no, anyway, no, seriously. It's hard to explain why this is so terrifying. Like, it just looks like a stupid puppet, but you have to see it through the eyes of a child who's like four or five years old. Especially when you're watching normal everyday Pingu episodes, which aren't as bad, or terrifying in tone. It's the tone of the episode that gets to you. Anyway, I just thought I'd just share that 90s nostalgia as part of my 90s nostalgia video series. Thank you for watching and don't have nightmares. <laughs>